All right, here we are up at uh, Mountain River Ranch. This is the main road. Um, just on the other side of those trees is the river. This is the high sea area, uh, Poplar. So lots of parking as you come in here, lots of visibility. Um, up here, this is the north side of the property. Let's see if you can, if I can zoom in here. You got a teepee there and then you have Um, your power set up there for some RVs at that point. Um, I believe he said the camp host will usually put an RV in here um, for the summer. This building here has three bedrooms, uh, sleeps six. You have some... Uh, spots right here he said these are typically just a single night situation uh, you can kind of see that berm just because the water's so near that uh, was built by the army corps of engineers uh, just for flood potential so during the shows that they have or uh, if you stay in some of these rooms Here's restroom and shower set up. There's one well that kind of runs uh, this whole area for water. So during the, the dinner shows, they would have a horse-drawn sleigh that, uh, or wagon that gets picked up here. So this room, I believe, has a a queen bed or something here. Let me double check. I'm gonna go get another key. Was this one still? I can do that. I... So, and this is Justin. He's a family member of the selling party. <laughs> How are we doing today? I'm gonna go get those other keys. So, I'll show you this room. They're, they got a mix of, um, you know, couples rooms that'll have a single larger bed. And then there's some that have twin beds. Is that other building still open or not? I did not. So, let's see, you got one, two, three, four up above, five at the end. That one that looks uh, like the rock is just storage currently, but could be redone for another room. And then you have one, two, three on this side. And then I'll, I'll walk into that uh, lodge space in there here in a minute. This pond is subwater, so it just goes with uh, the height of the the river table or the river and the, the water table. Um, they typically stock this, and and then at the I mean they charge probably five bucks a person on average uh, to fish it if they want to do that just to kind of recoup their costs, and then at the end of the year, because it's gonna be uh, dried out typically every year. Um, they'll just let people come fish for free to, to finish up anything that's left in there. So typically they'd have a, you know, some fire, there's a fire pit there and, and it seems like they have another fireplace somewhere else that they would allow people to come in. Um, that door's locked, I believe. Come in that door and uh, this is where they would register get some hot chocolate that type of stuff so some storage space here and depending on the use you know they could have banquet tables in here uh, and just do a smaller show here or entertainment this is kind of a um, bar uh, they would collect money here for a lot of the shows before they take their wagon ride out to the main uh, show house And so I believe that's just another uh, cabin stay right there. And right over there is some more RV spots. And then that goes across the road to the, the larger uh, RV park.